Belly, you've been a bit of a busy man between the sticks at the moment, a penalty save at Walsall and some key saves as well with match, man of the match performances. How have you assessed your recent games? Um, yeah, I think I'm playing well. I feel sharp. Um, I think especially over the last four or five months, I've um, been working closely with Phil. Um, we've been looking at a lot of small aspects of my game um, to tweak and, and it seems to be paying off. But yeah, the minute I feel confident, I feel sharp. Um, it'd be nice if I wasn't sort of needed as much, but as a goalkeeper, it's it's nice to play your part when you are called upon. And games like I had against Walsall are, are the games that kind of you dream about as a keeper and feeling unbeatable and, and making saves like that. So yeah, it was good. It was against a former club of yours as well, Walsall, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's one of them. It's you got a bit of a point to prove. Um, I got turned down from there when I came back from the States and played there when I was younger. So yeah, maybe I have a bit of a point to prove, but there's no kind of no animosity there or anything. But if if I was going to pick a place this season, it'd probably be one of them where I'd like to put in a performance like that. You said you've been working on Phil, with Phil on stuff. Mm. What in particular? What's been the key thing? Um, a lot of probably boring stuff to be honest. That's not kind of your your fancy kind of saves and stuff. It's more footwork positioning, um, but just sort of looking how we can tweak it because. At my age, at 30, there's, there's not a lot in your technique that's going to change as you go through your career now. So, But there's little tweaks you can make, um, and, and, and it's paid off. We've got a camera behind the goal um, that records, obviously, all, all my movements and communication and that. So, But, yeah, it's it's been quite helpful. And every every sort of Monday and after games and, and Thursdays after a midweek game, we go through my clips and we'll FaceTime and we'll talk about stuff. So, But, no, all, all that's kind of helpful. And... Yeah, it's probably contributed a lot to kind of why I've been playing so well. Well, we are without a win in the last few, but what have you made of the recent performances? Um, it's been it's been tough. Um, I don't think we've performed to the levels that we that we know we're capable of. It's that age old dilemma where where we are in the league for for Harrogate Town, a, a team of of that size, it, it it's, it's a great achievement. But I think what's the the frustrating thing is in house we know we're better than what we're showing, and that's. We, we don't want to be a mid-table League 2 side, we want to push on, we want to kick on and, and we're capable of doing that, but we just we just need to prove it and I think these last few games we've we've, we've lacked a bit of quality, um, but I think it's it's not for lack of effort, lack of trying, like I said, love all the lads, brilliant lads, we've got a great squad here, great team spirit, the best I've ever been a, a part of, but but yeah, I think we these last few games we owe it to, to ourselves more than anything to prove that we are capable League Two players. The gaffer's going to have some decisions and, and recruitment in the summer, so it's up to lads now to, to keep themselves in the team and, and to, to prove a point to help take this club forward. Yeah, we've got to push for the season, points to play for, and of course, a trip to Wembley to come as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, that's a big enough carrot for anyone, like myself included. Everyone wants to play at Wembley. Um, it's it's gutting that fans and, and family and friends can't be there. I think that's kind of. Well, I think everyone's got their opinions on that. I think the a stadium like Wembley, I think it would be, it would be possible to to accommodate fans on that day, even a small number. Um, and I feel for the fans who have who have missed out on on this sort of last twelve eighteen months sort of journey we've been on. It would have been nice to kind of cap that off with with fans there. But but yeah, Wembley is a massive carrot. And also like when the gaffer's looking for next year, you you, you we want to finish top half. And and when you're recruiting players. If we finish in the top half, it's it's a team that okay they're finishing the top half. We'll kick on next year and push on. Like it's it's big for the club. It's big for us. It. Like I don't want to be a part of. I said this before. I don't want to be a part of a team that just lets the season fizzle out or games don't really matter. Um, we've got four weeks left now with some big games. Like going to Bolton on Saturday is it's a big one. Um, some big teams to play. Some tough games to end the season with. But but yeah, we we know we're capable of going and winning these games. Yeah, Bolton are side in <laughs> really really good form. Um, what do you expect from that game? What's going to be the, the key thing? Um, I think, being brutally honest, they're, they're going to have quality. Probably more quality than us because the budget's probably five or six times what we can, can afford to spend. But we're going to have to remain solid. We're going to have to defend well because they're, they're at home. They're going to impose their game on us. Um, so ultimately, we're going to have to, like I said, remain solid, uh, aim to keep a clean sheet. But I think we've got to be positive. I think we've got to go there We've got to attack, we've got to kind of dictate the game as much as we can, um, respect them without um, without fearing them, because yeah, they're a, stereo, uh, a so-called big club who have had obviously a, f a fall from grace over the last few years, but they seem to have picked up momentum, but 
yeah, we respect them, we won't fear them, but I, I'd like to see a Harrogate Town team go there, impose our game on them, get in the faces, be on the front foot, but but play and, and enjoy playing, enjoy keeping the ball. And I think the, the elephant in the room is obviously going to score a few goals, which, um, like I said, that, that's a whole team thing. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice for, for whoever gets on the score sheet on Saturday. Best of luck. Cheers, mate. Thank you.